Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. It is better to trust an insane person than Buhari APC, Nigerian Pastor Giwa has pronounced. He said it is better. You see an insane person, right? A man who does not know his left from right. It is better you trust him than trust this APC or Buhari. APC is like an empty shell. So you see this snail for those of you who like Sam. Um, you know, this, uh, whatever, this delicacy, you see how big it is and say, wow, I'm going to get a good one from this one. You open it, as soon as you turn the shell, it's an empty one. You know that disappointment that floats into your face. That's APC for you. They came in 2015 telling Nigerians change. And Nigerians were so gullible. We were all so okay. In fact, we were tired of PDP at the time. We say, ah, uh -uh, we need change. And this was just brought what we thought we needed. My dear, PDP was not good though, but this one, ah, it was, it, PDP was better. It was better. You know, let's hear what the pastor has to say. The senior pastor of Awaking the Second, Awaiting the Second Coming of Christ Ministry, Giwa Dewala, has said that it is better for Nigerians to put their trust in an insane person than to put their trust in President Muhammad Buhari and the All Progressive Congress APC. According to the clergy, God is far away from politicians in Nigeria. <laughs> they say, go far from them. <laughs> this guy is very funny. They say, God is far. God is looking at them from a distance. <laughs> Let's continue. In his 2020 Christmas message, he made available to Daily Post. Giwa specifically said, politicians in the country have sold their bodies, not only their soul, and soul to the devil. You know, before they would say, you sow your soul to the devil. This pastor say, no, it's both your body and soul that they have sown to the devil. I mean, I kind of understand his pain. If you know what is going on in this country, people traveling, you know, even in the southern region, traveling on the highway. And guess what? Full any headsmen threw net on the road. So the thing entangled the tire. And when they stop, they whisk everybody into the bush, kill some, begin to ask for ransom from others their families, and even when the family pays, they, are, they still kill them. So that's how bad things have become in this country. That's just, the, that's just the one you know. There are other terrible things going on. And the government of today, honestly, is aiding it. The government, if they say enough is enough, you will see transformation. You know when the head is sick, eh? when you are having headache, do you just run around and start doing things as usual? No. When, when that part, you know, that's what is happening. Let's understand this, Pastor. I feel your pain, sir. The clergy, however, urged the citizens not to put their trust in them, but only in God, who he said. I laugh when I see politicians making promises they cannot fulfill. Please learn from President Muhammad Buhari and APC. Empty promises. They promised to light. They promised us light, but they ended up giving us darkness. Prior to 2015, the presidential election, they vowed to make the Naira equal to dollar in value. But oh, vain, vain, vain. In fact, they devalued the Naira even more. These are the set of people we are dealing with. Wicked, ignorant set of people. Here is the man who traded down from Abuja, who trekked from Abuja to, uh, from Lagos to Abuja for Buhari. How is he feeling? <laughs> you know, there was this guy that time that said he was going to trek from Lagos to Abuja for Buhari so that Buhari can win. You know, uh, in, in the advanced countries, people do what we call charity or they do, uh, uh, you know, charity work, for instance, say, uh, say, let's say, for instance, cancer. So somebody would maybe take a run within a particular distance and then um, that person will, people will donate, you know, in respect to that. And the person will give it over to the cancer research, you know, uh, unit, you know. So this man said he was going to trek, you know, if worry for all the way from Lagos to Abuja. He did trek. So the pastor is asking, ah, oh boy, our market now, how does he feel? Are you feeling good? Is he okay? It is better you trust a man, hmm? a madman, than trust President Buhari and APC. Look at how they turned Nigeria into. We are a laughing stock, if you don't know, to other countries, even to African countries who surround border with us. They are really wondering, is this Nigeria? Of course, truly speaking, there is no leadership. You can see it in the whole 
of the country. If there is leadership, it will speak. But really, there is no leadership. We are now a laughing stock. Nobody wants to associate with the people who are not coordinated. We thought they might they, they meant well when they promised us heaven on earth, but all failed. Someone says their nickname, the nickname of all promises cancelled. APC is now what? All promises cancelled. That is APC. A all P promises C cancelled. So that's who they are. Even a child in his mother's home is not happy with President Muhammad Buhari and all promises cancelled. That's APC. So, so this is where, this is how Nigerians see these people. It is rather very sad, you know, uh, unprecedented times of how the reality of truth of what is on ground, you know, this government, this administration do not mean well and does not want to do anything. Garuba Shehu said the other day, eh, we are thinking, they are still thinking, oh, wait, it will, they will think the 2023. By the time they finish thinking in 2023, we are thinking that uh, we should stop the Fulani headsmen from roaming around because of the... You know, up till now, nobody has been uh, arrested with regards to the Kankari schoolboys, and they know them. They know the people. They know them. They know where they are living. But if it's uh, somebody that carries a uh, IPOB um, flag, he will be arrested, in fact, taken to jail. That's how bad our country has become. That is, you know, and again, this is what we have accepted. This is what we've agreed to. And this is what is happening. You know, unless we all, you know, decides to say this government, we, we lend our voices in a cry together. <laughs> what is coming? Only God can really deliver and save us all. Because we cannot continue to allow this evil to continue in the in broad daylight. Everybody knows that uh, Buhari's government is nepotism. He will remove people from other region and put uh, you know people from his own region. Is that not what we call nepotism? And nobody's saying anything. Everybody's quiet. You know, everybody's quiet, allowing evil to continue. You know, so please. Nigerians, I understand this pastor. I do understand him. If for nothing, at least let them fulfill one promise. Is he light? Is he education? Is he infrastructure? What, which exactly, which one exactly have they made up their mind that they are going to, you know, help with the country? Which one of the whole promises? I remember precisely um, Professor Yemi uh, Osibanjo. He was the one, I heard him with my own ear saying yes students are going to be given bursaries those who are just finished from secondary school why are waiting to go to university they'll be paying them five thousand naira to re relieve them and to make them focus my dear scam leave us a comment god bless you don't forget to like or share subscribe bye for now